I'm Lieutenant Colonel Mary Goldsmith, uh, and I have been in the Air Force for 23 years this past July. Didn't intend to join the Air Force. Uh, but when I was in college working on my bachelor's degree, I decided probably needed to do something else for a little while. Uh, so at the time, I joined uh, the California Air National Guard. I enlisted there as a medical laboratory technician. And my plan was to go back, finish my bachelor's while I was in the Guard, and then uh, go to med school. And along the way, I just sort of said, this is not for me. Uh, there's other opportunities and I decided I wanted to fly airplanes. Uh, fortunately, at March, there was a reserve unit right down the street uh, at the 452nd Air Mobility Wing. So I knew somebody down there and got an interview and was hired, uh, and that was when my life in the reserves began. Our job at Four is taking care of the airmen in all of our wings. So whatever the task is, as long as I'm doing something uh, towards that ultimate goal, I feel like I've uh, had a good day and, and, and that I've done my job. Uh, know the process, uh, kind of know what your goal is, but be flexible in that. So. Um, when I say know the process, uh, kind of know the steps along the way that you should expect to happen because uh, you might find yourself having to kind of advocate for yourself along that path um, from becoming enlisted to, to officer. So during that process, knowing what to expect, kind of knowing a timeline and being prepared uh, to uh, be flexible in all of that is probably the right stance to take as, in terms of like what that process looks like. Uh, I try to remember that it, this will pass, right? It's just momentary. I will get through to the other side. We will get through to the other side if it's not just me. And I don't always know what that looks like, um, but I know that, that I'll get through it. Um, and then I try to remember too, I try to remember what I'm thankful for um, and that I'm really very fortunate and that my family and my friends were all really very fortunate. Because uh, it, it puts things into perspective, right? Like maybe this is really bad, but man, we're still probably pretty fortunate and pretty lucky. I have a few friends and, well, I have a lot of friends, but uh, I have a couple friends in particular who I really rely on. It happens to be that uh, most of those folks are people that I've served with, uh, either currently serving with here at Fourth Air Force or in, in previous positions. Uh, and those folks are who I turn to. Um, when I kind of need a little perspective or a reset of my mind. Um, and so I talk to them and it never fails to help. The one that has stuck with me the most uh, came from my dad. Uh, before I went to pilot training, he said, never pass up an opportunity to keep your mouth shut. Uh, and that was really valuable in pilot training. Uh, it's not about quibbling, just did you do the job or not. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. It's not that you should not say something, right? If you, if there is something to be said, say it. But think about it before you say it uh, and make it impactful and valuable um, and important.